It really is remarkable what developed in Fort Worth so many decades ago and has continued to develop into this great complex and great cultural district that we have here today. My name is Eric Lee and I'm director of the Kimball Art Museum in Fort Worth, Texas. The Kimball has become renowned all over the world for the quality of what is on view here, as well as for our exhibitions, which are among the greatest in the United States, and also for the architecture. We're standing right now in the 1972 Louis Kahn building. The building is famous for the quality of the light. It introduces natural light into the galleries the silvery quality of the light as it bounces off the reflectors and then bounces down the vaults into the galleries is just magical. My name is Jonathan Morris. I am a business owner here in Fort Worth. I own a small hotel right here in the Cultural District just down the street called Hotel Dreis. Hotel Dreis is a project that I've been working on for the last few years. We've been open now for just uh, coming up on a year and it is in the Cultural District. Um, we love being in the Cultural District, the connection to the city, the connection to what I consider to be one of the most world-renowned collection of art in the country. Fort Worth is so remarkable in having the complex of museums and, and cultural entities right here in the Cultural District. Not only is there the Kimball, but the other great neighboring museums, such as the Amon Carter Museum, designed by Philip Johnson, or the Fort Worth Museum of Modern Art, designed by Todd Al Ando. But also, we have these other institutions, like the National Calgary Museum, like the Museum of Science and History, that are on par with some of the best museums and institutions in a cultural district anywhere you look. The museums in Fort Worth each focus on different aspects of art. At the Kimball, we collect conceivably everything except for contemporary art and American art. We don't collect American art because we leave that to our neighbors at the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art. We don't collect contemporary art because of our neighbors on the other side of the building at the Fort Worth Museum of Modern Art. One of the surprises, I think, to a lot of visitors to Fort Worth and specifically to the Culture District is just how close the museums are to one another. You can pop into the Modern, you can pop over to the Kimball, the Amy Carter, all within an afternoon. Everything is very accessible here, whether you're walking, we have the bike share program, we have the dash that shoots in between the cultural district. It makes getting around really, really easy. It's extremely convenient visiting these museums. Parking is free and also the collections of many of these museums are free as well. My absolute favorite place in all of the Culture District is Cafe Modern for a couple of reasons. Number one, the food is amazing. What Chef Jet is doing with the menu and introducing these new flavors, these new ideas to Fort Worth, I think is incredible. The way that you look back at the building from the cafe, seeing architecturally just how incredible the space is, it is the best backdrop for having a meal and drinks, cocktails, to me, here in Fort Worth. One of the things that I think that the Culture District does really well is that there is programming across all the institutions for the entire family, all age groups. We have family festivals, we have drop-in studios, there's just so much to do for people of all ages. And what that represents, I think a lot of times, is an introduction to the art, to people, whether they be kids, whether it be someone who's just a, a, a novice art appreciator, or people who are collectors that love art and travel over the world to see art. I think when people visit the Cultural District, they, they are shocked by what is on view here, like the only Michelangelo painting in the United States. 
uh, works like that. I think people are stunned to find these works here in Fort Worth. The cultural district over time, and particularly over these last few years, has really grown up in a lot of ways with the addition of Dickey's Arena, which brings in events, concerts, music from literally all over and brings people to Fort Worth from all over, really adds to the neighborhood. Fort Worth is very much a city on the rise. It's a city that's changing all the time. The culture district today is very different than it was even just a few years ago. I love seeing the growth. I think that what you're gonna to continue to see is more people not only discover Fort Worth for the first time through the culture district, but rediscover Fort Worth in a way that allows them to see the city in a fresher, new way that maybe they never thought they would experience in Fort Worth. Thank you.